what not to do in a job interview. Unless you don't want the job. Oh, let's see how I log on here to this damn Zoom thing. You know, before COVID, you'd actually have a damn actual interview face to face with somebody. But now you gotta do these things through damn Zooms. Zoom sees. I don't even know how to download. It took me 30 freaking minutes to download this damn thing. So here we go. It looks like she's attempting to join the room here. See, her name is Brittany. And this is important sales jobs, you know. This is, they haven't even told, this is what I hate about these jobs, they don't even tell you what you're actually going to be making. So I'm going to have to ask that question during this interview today. Because, you know, I need some money for beer, folks, as you know. I'm a drunk Englishman bastard here. Or oh, she's joining now, be cool, be cool, cool. Hey, how's it going now? Good, thank you. How are you about yourself? Oh, I'm, I'm doing just peachy now. We hear that, sir. Oh, so well, I just want to know a little bit about the job here before, you know, uh, you go tell me all this stuff now. Uh, uh, I, I just got out of a long job and I'm trying to, just get to, to find something you know, that uh, I could just stick with, you know, and, 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 and retire. You know, I'm not getting any younger. Are you got any questions for me now? Yes, please tell me about yourself and your experience. Tell me about myself. Oh, uh, you know, I, I've been... Uh, excuse me, I mean, we all having this conversation at my house. So I hope you don't mind. Um, but about myself is, you know, I'm, I'm a drunk bastard. All right, yeah. I'm, I'm a damn drunk bastard. Uh, excuse my language, but I'm looking for something that I can retire with. I've been in and out of jobs, you know. I've been through the ring of jobs, 10, 15 years. You know, I've got a good track record, though. You know, I've got a damn good track record. You know, I, I could do anything. I could sell us to a damn Eskimo. You know, and, and this is a sales job, but is it now, right? Yes. All right. Uh, you got any more questions for me? Yes, sir. Please tell me why you are interested in this role. I'm interested in this role basically to change lives and to get some money for this here beer. You know, I drink a lot of whiskeys and, and uh, kvossiers and beers from all around the world. Uh, and that's what, I need more money. Basically, I need more money. That's what I'm interested in this damn job you got offering here. Hey, hey, hey. All right, sir, very good. Why is this company right for you? It's right for me because you're hollering right now. I mean, it, you, 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 I've been trying to go find a job and all there is is that McDonald's and Burger Kings and Target. They say they're hollering, but they never holler anybody. And I'm getting sick and sick of it, you know? I need some damn money. My mortgage just went up thanks to Bard and the taxes and everything like that. Everything's going through the damn roof, you know? And I see you guys are hollering, but you don't actually say what you are hollering for in amount of salary. I want to know that. Okay, sir, we can get to that. But first, tell me why is there a gap in your employment? A gap in my employment? Well, if you've been around the world like me, like most Williamson, you just don't get along with some bastards every damn day. And it's just, it, it, it gets taxing. It's taxing on the old drunk bastards. I need to just find somewhere where I could just be left alone at the house, do my sales work, and just drink all damn day. I want a remote job, and this this job is remote now, is it now? Yes, that's true. I, I never heard of remote jobs before until, you know, I always thought of remote is what you do is to click on the damn commercials out, you know, and raise the volume on your porn hub. Yes, sir. Okay. What is your greatest achievement? My greatest achievement? I spoke about this in one of my old videos, but you're not interested in that now. My greatest achievement is entering the drinking competition back in 1989, and I beat every one of them bastards.
bastards. So single handedly they couldn't even they couldn't even keep up. Their dick was hitting the damn dirt faster than anybody could ever say. And I was drinking, I was drinking gallons and gallons of whiskey and beer, and I beat them all and I just walked away. I just walked away with that damn trophy. That was my greatest achievement. Now if you're talking about jobs, which you probably were, I'm getting off track here now. If you're talking about jobs, Brittany, your name is? Yes. If you're talking about jobs, I mean, I really don't have many great achievements. I've cursed out plenty of managers in my day. You know, and I've, I've gotten to fight with some employees. But I promise you, if we're working a remote job, as you see, I get to stay home and mind my own damn business. Yes. Okay, sounds good. Good. I think I'm doing good, folks. All right, next question. Why did you leave your last job? I left my last job because my last boss was a bastard. He was an absolute prick bastard and I didn't get along with a bastard, you know? Every day you'd be like, why are you calling off? Because I'm hung over, you prick. I'm hung over. That's why I can't come over. I can't do the best of my abilities at my job if I'm hung over. That's why if I'm here, I got a nice little pillow I could put behind my damn back and do my work from home hung up. All right, if you say so. I do say so. Next question, moving on. Okay, moving on. What is your desired salary? My desired salary? I don't know what you guys are paying, but if you're hauling a bloke bastard like me, I just think I deserve about a million dollars a year. A million dollars a year will suffice. Yes, it will. Okay. Sounds good. I definitely don't think we can go that high. Well, if you get close, I don't matter. Not even close. Well, you know, a little close. Any more questions for me now? I think that'll cover all my questions. All right, now, so when do I get this job? I will have to give you a call and let oh, you know. Here we go again. Here we go again. Well, I, I thank you for your time, Brittany. You've been very sweet. Thank you. Oh, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I think I'll be the best fit for this remote job. If you want uh, somebody that's going to get up in the morning, drink, I mean, get up in the morning and work on his computer, make sales calls, I'm the one that you need. No other bastard can compare. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Have a good day. Like you. <coughs> oh, I should have burped after I shut the damn zoom off. Jesus Christ.